just like me, many of you would be wondering since childhood that what is the brain and, and what the, its faculties like memory and how the memory is in the shape and how it looks like, where it stores and how we can retrieve the information at the knee. So I was also perplexed with this question uh, till now. As we all know that the human brain is uh, the command and controlling center of the human body. And the human brain is equivalent to the size of my both the fist together and weighs around 1.4 kg. And, and, and it lies in the training capacity of the brain. Uh, the brain is a very greedy organ and it needs continuously without any compromise in the fluctuations around 20% of the total blood supply of the brain throughout our living life. The main breathing block of the brain is a, a, a spatial cell called so neuron and in a normal adult human brain there are almost uh, 30, uh, 9, uh, 86 billion neurons and equally number of its supporting cells called glial cells. Neurons are the uh, structural and functional unit of the brain and one typical neuron is more or less like a, uh, like a tree where the trunk is equivalent to the exon while the branches uh, are equivalent to the dendrites of it. So, uh, and then if you look, uh, if you look the neural network in the brain, it looks like as if you are looking down from a helicopter over a tropical level in forest where the branches of the trees are interwoven with each other. So is the similar way the human brain is made up of alien neuron networks and these are called neural network or, or brain interactive in the shape of the neurons together. Now, uh, these, uh, there are by electrochemical uh, interactions between the neurons in the form of synapse. In the human brain, there could be uh, up to 100 trillion synapses together where the memory even resides. Now, just consider the brain as, uh, as a hardware and mind equivalent to like a software, even though the demarcation between the brain mind is even more complicated than the uh, computer science words of software and computer. Brain is a physical mass where, where the neurons and glial cells and other cells are lying there and mind is, uh, resides somewhere. So mind is not something that we can take a picture of. It, it, it gets developed uh, with the more we use the brain with the time. So the human memory, uh, there is a typical uh, Atkinson's septic memory model where there is multi-stored memory model where there are three memory memories like sensory memory, short-term memory, long-term memory. Sensory memory is the memory which comes into contact to us every moment and that is beyond our cognitive mind and it remains in autonomic uh, control. So just like you are looking at me right now with your eyes and you are listening to me with your ears, this all is making a sensory memory. Sensory memory lasts hardly for a uh, second if you don't pay attention to it. If you pay attention then sensory memory becomes part of the shorter memory and shorter memory is equivalent to the working memory. So in the childhood uh, when there is no uh, hippocampus active, most of the child remain in the shorter memory or working memory and they hardly remember anything by the age of first three years. Now, if this shorter memory or working memory is given proper rehearsal, then it gets converted or, or consolidated and indexed to become the long-term memory. And this all happens by, uh, uh, by, by hippocampus that lies in the temporal lobe of the brain somewhere here that they do this job of consolidation and indexing of memory. So what is memory? Memory is uh, one of the major faculty of the mind that means encoding, storing, retention and then retrieval of the memory in due course of time in the future. Here retention and retrieval of the successful information in the later due course of time is must for our proper functioning of doing something here and learning new language or developing our behavior. Previously it was thought that uh, once any memory uh, is consolidated by the hippocampus, it gets transformed and gets saved somewhere in the brain part 
and that makes permanent uh, structure of the synapse uh, network in that part. But now, after the advancement in the medical uh, neurophysiology, especially by functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, diffusion tensor imaging, DTI, EEG, and so on, now it is being found that the neural connections are not permanent where the particular memory lies in the brain, rather they are dynamic. So the synapse network of the memory keeps getting updated, getting more stronger with the uh, synapse formation. Now just remember that anyone uh, in the world have never ever would have completely filled the quota of human memory or even I can challenge that no one in the world in the future would be able to fully complete the human memory in the future. So before we die off from the world, we hardly use some part of only brain memory and probably remain unoccupied to some extent. Uh, so neurobics are what? Actually, neurobics are the non-routine ways of doing something that to with the involvement of more than one senses together. Now, by the mother nature, we are giving five senses in the human body. These are olfaction or smell by the nose, and vision by the eye, hearing with the ear, and taste with the tongue and touch receptors, especially the fingers which we use in general things. So, we, if we use anything while making memory formation with the attentive mind, we should use more than one sense together. Similarly, uh, try to do any task with the proper concentration of mind and try to avoid like half-heartedness or, 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 or just uh, less concentration in that task. Otherwise, that phenomena will be just part of the shorter memory and you will not be able to remember that after 30 seconds. There is a minutes magic number 7 plus minus 2, that is 5 to 9. It means in the shorter memory, we hardly remember 5 to 9 pieces of information. And that's the reason why we remember any 10 digit of mobile number, we do the chunking of the number. Because, so that we make 3 plus 3 plus 4 digit to remember, and then hardly we can remember this 5 to 9 uh, pieces of information, shorter memory. And, and Similarly, try to do non-routine piece of the work. Like, I mean to say, uh, since early morning you wake up, do the press with your left hand, because I'm a right-handed person, so for me the non-dominant hand will be the left hand. So the same way for others. So let's use the uh, toothbrush with the left hand. Try to have clothing show use with the left hand on the body. Then you're using the other half part of the brain active and then eating food with the left hand. Similarly, uh, try to button your shirt with one hand rather using both the hands together. And similarly, you can do some task or some usual course in the house with your closed eyes. So, I mean to say, keep close your eyes, don't use your eye senses and do the work with, with your touch receptors like opening the latch of the door, going to a washroom or so. This is my son, he's trying to use in the sense of touch to figure out which is his favorite chapel. Similarly, we can use uh, uh, either you figure out and make cartoons because cartoons are having a lot of senses uh, and a lot of information in our picture. Or if you're not a good cartoonist, then at least mute your TV and try to sense and read the little language of the characters by just gesture, by frowns, by love, anger, and just show the empathy for the, the, the pictures on the TV and try to read it out. Similarly, uh, you can have a multiple language exposure. I mean, like I, I was happened to be in some other countries, so like if I say, how are you in English, will become, why the how do that in Chinese, and ni hao ma in Chinese, and and Pwadaki Halazi in Punjabi. So this way you are updating with more and more bits of information in the mind. Similarly, you can use a dictionary to have a better vocabulary. And also try to have a trip to law or, uh, or far apart places where you meet the people of other languages and people uh, of other culture. Because that time, in that situation, 24 into 7, 20, you are in an active phase to learn and interact with the people and you are in a vigilant situation for a survival part.
Similarly, you can go for mountaineering, you can go for jungle trip where your mind is very active all the time. And this way you develop your mind. Similarly, you can, no matter you are a good chef or not, but, but it's, it's fun to use, you know, sometime cooking habit. Because while making a food in the kitchen, you need all your senses together working. Just like Indian food, because it is more having spices, condiments, and thought of even sometimes spicy. Uh, like, you have to use your eyes to see the progress of the food. You have to use your finger to see the consistency of food preparation. You, you have to use your nose to have the, spi uh, the completion of the food with the uh, aroma and sm uh, smell. And then finally taste with the tongue. So this way you use your more of the senses, you remain in the active part of your brain and you learn more things. Similarly, no matter you are a numismatist or not, but still you can use your uh, a habit to develop for, with your closed eye coins together and, and try to figure out with the texture, shape, size, weight and, and, and the other inscribed words on the coins and try to figure out which coin is what. And this gives better chances of your brain development. So let's try to have a newer and newer kind of works and newer and newer habits that will create your brain active. So like you can do chess playing, uh, game, swimming and other habits uh, just for fun. Similarly, more importantly, nowadays people used to go for the supermarket where we get the packed food, where only the eye sense works uh, for the choosing the good option. So ra rather, one should go and visit the farms and orchards where you smell with the nose the aroma or the smell of the vegetables and fruits, not only with the eye, the shape of the food. So this way you are using better way of memory consolidation in vaccine. And, and upgrading your mind with the better information. Uh, well, I don't mean that becoming a master of one of few neurobic exercises will make you uh, more sharper, intelligent and cognitive because after a particular time this habit will, uh, will be just part of one, one simple habit or intuition. So then I mean to say life should be having a not only routine jobs together because here the less chances of brain to get developed new things. So rather a person should use newer and newer ideas, newer and newer working habits, newer and newer experiences for learning and memory and this way we keep updating the brain with lot of alternative options and lots of bits of information in the mind. As more information, bits of information lies in your mind, you have better options to solve any, any uh, problem and you have better chances of uh, you know being intelligent being uh, one step ahead than the rest of the world and such people who have a more vast knowledge of memory they have a, they have a better options to solve a particular problem so i mean to say the take home message for the brain is you you keep yourself in the active phase try learning new and newer things try having new and newer ideas and working because uh, because your mind is never getting you know totally filled with the memory be in the active phase keep learning so use it or lose it so as more you use your brain more sharper smarter and more cognitive person it becomes so wait and thank you